arabesque is Sophia Loren. Hello. And the Persian spell she casts on all men. How can you compare muscles with money? Arabesque is Sahara Coleman. Hello. Goodbye. And the Persian spell she cast on all men. How can you compare my thoughts with money? Today's look is inspired by the beautiful Italian actress Sofia Loren and her iconic cat eye makeup look from her younger days of acting to her golden age of 70s or 80s. I think that's her age in this last picture. So I hope you guys enjoy. Her brows are what we call now soap brows where you take a bar of soap, you use like a, um, one of these eyebrow brushes and then brush your brows and they just keep them into place but I think for today I'm gonna brush them up and then I'm going to apply some of this tinted brow mascara not in the right shade it's too warm too brown but I'm still gonna use it and then to set it I'm gonna use the black radiance clear mascara brow tamer now this may or may not come out right because as you guys can see my hairline goes down pretty far there's a shimmer piece of glitter in my hair um my hairline comes down pretty far to my eyebrows so it may just look like a whole bunch of hair right here i don't know it may not look right but i'm gonna try it anyway it doesn't hurt <laughs> by the way this brush right here that i'm using this is from um bh cosmetics their rose gold set <laughs> this looks crazy but i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna use the clean color framus brows tinted brow mascara this is a good tinted brow mascara. Like I said, it's just too warm, but it'll have to do. And again, I'm just brushing my brows into the same place like I did. I also have this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumping Brow Gel Mascara. Still not the right shade. This one is in 380 medium to dark, but let's see. I'm gonna have to clean these brows up. <laughs> Black Radiance Clear Mascara Brow Tamer. I don't necessarily think that this brow tamer does much because I don't think it gives out enough product anyway, but I'm gonna try it. What I'm gonna do next is use some concealer just to clean up the brows a little bit so they're not like as bushy and crazy looking. I don't think they could be any less crazier looking than they look right now oh my gosh I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs accomplice concealer stick this is in a shade at medium 39 To set the um, eye base, I'm going to use the, um, what is this, the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Liner as well. I'm also going to be using the Kat Von D eyeshadow primer as that like color to create that uh, to help create that negative space type of look. Could be used like a concealer to help with that. I don't know. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is their limited edition, not your basic witch. Obviously, eyeshadow, not highlighter. So that's what I'm going to be using it as. And I'm going to try to speed through this part because I need to focus rather than explaining what I'm doing. So maybe I'll explain after I finish. <laughs> and I may use tape to help me keep it clean and crisp going across this line. So...
For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I have not used this in a while. I'm trying to use up the products that I haven't used in a long time just to make sure they don't expire and then I have to waste them and throw them away. forgot just how greasy this primer really is you don't need a lot seems more like a thick quality moisturizer why is this dress itching my neck so bad uh oh it's turning starting to turn red for foundation i'm going to be mixing two today the l'oreal true match lumi foundation the shade sun beige w7 w6 warm and the makeup forever hd foundation this is in the shade y415 i'm going to mix these two together I love using the Japanese sponge, but this right here, I, I need to wash it because I had it for my um, last tutorial, but Japanese, I think they have discontinued that sponge. I found another sponge. This is from the Crim Shop. I think that's how you pronounce it because there's a, a accent over the E. So the Crim Shop Next Gen Blender. So I'm going to be trying this. I also have two other brushes from the Crim Shop. These two right here, they're the same Kabuki brush, but they're really pretty. These are so soft. You can use them as anything, but I feel like these are too pretty, so they're more like vanity. But I just wanted to mention that I already had something from the Crim Shop, but I'm going to be trying this. I'm going to have to wet it and then apply it. Alright, so I just took those lashes off because I definitely feel like they're taken away from the look too much. I'm going to go ahead and apply these Ardell Wispies right here. I wear those a ton. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to apply those because I don't want it to take away from the look, but I still want it to look like I am wearing some sort of lash. I don't know, should I do double Wispies? No. I think I'm going to do double Wispies instead because I don't want the flared out part to take away from this right here. So I'm going to use double wispies. Alright, so I definitely feel like this is a lot better. I'll add my mascara, but now that the um, moisturizer primer has kind of dried in, I am going to be using the sponge. So this is how big the sponge got. It, got, it has a round side to it, and then it has this little cutout flat side, so good for blending out concealer. So I'm going to try this. This sponge feels so soft and squishy, so I might have to start using this. It feels so soft. It feels softer than the Sonia Kashuk one that I use from um, Target. And it actually feels a little bit softer than my um, Japanese one, so maybe this will be a hit. <laughs> so both of these foundations are the type where you need to use them with a brush because a sponge will just soak up any of the coverage that it would give you. But... I really wanted to try this sponge out today, so that's why I'm using this. But this sponge is really good, it's just soaking up everything. I'm gonna use this darker concealer from Wet n Wild. This is in a shade Dark Cocoa. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline one in the shade Medium 25. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. gosh guys this sponge is so good <laughs> it's like I gotta keep looking at the um, mirror and in the camera part because I just cannot believe how good the sponge is like I've never had a sponge this good and I've tried well let me make sure I don't mess up my eye makeup this is why I don't apply it until I finish my face makeup on the lower lash line. But anyway, I've had the Japanese sponge. I've tried the Sonia Kashuk sponge at um, Target. I've tried the e.l.f. sponge. And none of them 
are as soft as this. Okay, let's set this with a powder. I'm gonna use the Black Radiance powder. This is in a shade Banana. Ooh, that's a lot of powder. I think I'm gonna set it with the sponge. Oh, the sponge is so dirty now. <laughs> sure, everything is blended out. There's no creasing. I feel like this sponge is keeping the powder on my face. Normally when I apply powder with a sponge, um, it goes, like, it doesn't apply the amount that I put on and it goes everywhere. This stays in place. It's like I'm trying to find the right words. <laughs> but this stays in place. Yeah, I feel like this is the type of sponge where I'm not going to be able to press the powder into my skin because it just applies too much powder. Like, it applies what you pick up. For bronzer, to like set the contour bronzer areas, I actually, <laughs> it's funny because the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Kit, Pearl Palette, it comes with like different contours and highlights. And two of the shades are the only ones I used out of that eight pan palette so I decided to crunch it up and put it inside this long comb bronzer just put it in here because the bronzer that came with this was too light so all you have to do is just open this top and then can you guys see that is my camera being HD today or not but um, all you got to do is just put it in here and then the bronzer will come out and all I needed, I think it was the shade tan that I used. Maybe tan and mixed in with the deepest one. But this just applies it so easily because you have the brush right here. Uh-oh. Too much powder on my face causing me... Causing my nose to run. It's looking flawless, but need a little bit of bronzer up here. So it does look like she's wearing more of like an orange tone blush. So I'm going to be using Anastasia's blush in a shade Miami. Well, this is Peachy Love, but the single one is called Miami. is not showing up that much this blush kit is pretty but it's very subtle I'm gonna go in with a different orange blush let's see I think I do have an orange blush hold on <laughs> use this blush in the shade 6 from black up this is the brand it's the brand from Paris so this is how the blush looks it says up this is a really pretty matte orange blush and I feel like this is gonna be really pigmented I just I really love orange blushes I feel like orange is the best color that you can get in a blush it's a little bit bright but it's okay all right for highlighter I'm going to be using the glow kit like I said I'm trying to use up as much products as I have before I have to waste them and this was one of them for my last video another one like the foundation I am going to use the highlighter I'm gonna use a mixture of these two which is called sunburst and golden brown i'm not using the right brush it's <laughs> probably why it's not really showing up that much but i don't want a lot of highlighter for mascara i'm gonna use the max factor x maxter maxter <laughs> the max factor x masterpiece max mascara what the heck you know it's like you don't need to um that much in a title and that's they're not even finished high volume plus definition mascara it's like you have to read all of that but this is their velvet black mascara i'm going to be applying this if there's any left hopefully it didn't dry out i don't use this mascara a lot so that's what i'm like let me whip it out 
sometimes you have to wow that applied really good sometimes you have to like um go through your makeup and see what you don't use a lot and bring that back out so you don't waste it this mascara is really good for bottom lashes i don't know how it does for top i feel like that just applied perfectly let's see let me match my real lashes to these faux ones that's all i feel like my brows i don't know i i might add a little bit of this mascara should i add a little bit really thick brows so maybe this is better for somebody who doesn't but anyway we are almost finished guys but I don't have a peachy nude lipstick so I'm gonna be using a combo that I think would be close enough <laughs> perfect tone matte lip cream from black radiance this is in a shade let's toast and then for like the lip gloss this is I don't know this brand or anything somebody had gave this to me years ago but um this is flirt Plushes liquid velvet lip color in the shade 02 rising star so I'll apply this on top So let's apply this first And this matte lip cream from black radiance does dry down all the way I'm gonna give it a sec. Actually, I'm gonna spray my face first because I used a lot of powder. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sophia inspired cat eye look. I really had fun creating it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult than it was, but you know, we made it through. We got it. We got it pretty good. All right, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.